I'm going to show you how easy they are to cook in. Today I'm going to make you some mini cheese dampers. They're quite easy to do. It's simple. Three cups of flour. One big knob of butter. Now just wash your hands. Dry them. And that's the only way to mix that up. Round and round very quickly. Right on. Just mix that around so it comes to a nice firm dough. Just like I'm doing there now. Beautiful. A little bit of flour on the board. And turn it out. Now it's not bread so you don't have to knead it. Get into a nice lump. Now get a pan, just grease the pan. Bit of butter. Make them into little balls. Just like that. Look, simple as anything. Paint them with a bit of milk. Bit of cheese on top. Don't be frightened to put a bit of cheese on. And we'll take them to the Badawi camp oven. Now I'm going to put a cake rack in there so the air will circulate. And drop that in there like that. Put the lid on. Right. Hot coals. Just in there. Bring that over, put it on there. And now all we got to do is put some coals on top. Because we're baking. Now that should only take about 15 to 17 minutes. They should be ready. Now just flip the handle in. Whoops, off they come. Beautiful. Now Southern Metal Spinners have another product. And it's a food server, hot food server. Just take the lid off, and we can put our little buns in there, and keep them nice and warm. How about that? Now the Badawi camp oven can be used for other purposes than baking, like boiling. Now we're gonna boil one of these Queensland mud crabs. Now this is a male one, and that's all you're allowed to eat in Queensland. We're going to drop him into the boiling water, but first off, I'm just going to put him to sleep with a little knife just in there. Now get your water boiling. I've killed the crab, I don't like putting them in boiling water. And that's all it is. Get him down in there, get his legs in there. And on goes the lid. About 10 or 12 minutes, depending on the size of the crab. The Queensland mud crab should be cooked now. Oh, look at that. Cooked to perfection. Now, this is when the Aussie barbecue server comes in handy again. Look at that. Put it in there. Keep Louie off. Now, that's beautiful. And it'll keep nice and warm until you're ready to eat it. Now, another excellent product from Southern Metal Spinners is this camp oven mate. Now, this little beauty comes in four pieces, very easy to assemble, just follow the directions on the back of the box. Let's go and see how easy this little fella is to use. Today I'm going to bake a chicken. Just pick your chicken in there like that, give it a quick baste. Right, now set your camp oven, in your camp oven mate, put your lid on, and then put the lid on the camp oven mate. Just like that. Now, the hot air will circulate up around that now, and you don't need coals on top of it. Now, with the camp oven, mate, as you can notice, the gas down there, the air comes up and circulates all around there. It builds up too much, you can pop out the top. But that, you don't have to use coals. Now, you can use these camp ovens in caravan parks or national parks where you're not allowed to use a fire. Now, that chicken should be ready. Oops. 
<laughs> beautiful. And there's our chicken. Bring it over here. And on to our Aussie barbecue server. Sit that there, keeps Louie away from it. Now, if you're travelling this great country of ours and you want to cook in a caravan park or a national park or any other place where you can't have an open fire, camp oven mate is a must. Now, if you're travelling Northern Australia, you might need one of these. It's a throw net. And they're easy to throw. All you have to do is pick one up by the tip, two, three, get the other side and just flat it like that. And then we just throw it. Now, once you've caught your prawns, there's an easy way to do it. First off, remove the head and just take the skin off her. So simple. Now remove the intestine track. So that's yucky. Now quick wash. Beautiful. Look at that. Lovely dude. Now I've done all the rest of them. They're ready to go. Now what I'm going to do now, I've already cut up a little bit of ginger, a bit more. And a little bit of garlic. Just little thin pieces like that. Right. And a couple of shallots. I'm doing them in a long match type lot. Just cut them up like that. And that's all we need. Now, we're going to use another one of Southern Metal Spinner's products, and this is a bushwhack called a bushwhack because of the long handle, so when you've got it over the fire, you won't burn your hand. It's just one of the many woks that Southern Metal Spinner's produce. Right, let's take this to the fire and do something with it. Nice open fire, plenty of heat in that. Now what we need first off is some oil. So get that really hot. Now our garlic and ginger and shallot. Run around that are nice and hot. And bruise them a bit. How many times have you ever heard that noise in a Chinese shop? It's just bruising shallot. Now in with our prawn. So that's peanut oil I'm using today. It gives a beautiful flavour to these prawns. And now a quick dash of soya. Now they look like they're cooked. Take those out. Bill Thompson, you're a beauty. <laughs> Southern Metal Spinners have got another product too. And this one's a beauty. It's a smoker. Very easy to put together. All you do is follow the instructions on the back of the box. Now I've put mine together. We're just gonna take it over here and smoke a bit of mullet show you how easy it is to do. Now first off, a little bit of sawdust, just in the base there. Not too much. Spread it around so you get a nice even burn. Now slip the trays in, they go in very easy. Just put it around there like that. Ah, beautiful. I'll skin the mullet. Just gonna drop, drop it on those trays. Now, if you've got a lot of fish, there's another layer can go in there. Just bring it around, sits on the tray like that. Another layer on top. Now just light the mess up and sit the switch maker over the top of it. Pick the lid on, put it on, and a little time we'll have smoked fish. <laughs> 